What's up guys, Nvidia has unreleased a massive quad slot graphics card which could either be the GeForce RTX 4090 Ti or the next gen Titan has been pictured once again. It was first leaked back in October 2022 when the first ADA GPUs were hitting retail shelves. We got to see a cooler that was at least 4 slots tall and was claimed to feature a cooling capacity of up to 900 watts. The cooling solution was also very unique in design as the PCB went on the side rather than and below the heatsink itself, which meant it was to be placed vertical, which is a first for any GeForce consumer graphics card. The second leak came a few months later, in January 2023, which gave us a look at a more finalized product with a PG137SQ naming, which was first pointed out by Copit and later showed up in a shipping manifesto too, which confirmed that the card would feature a 48GB VRAM and a 384B Whitebus interface. Now we have brand new pictures of the alleged NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 Ti or the Titan ADA GPU from another leak in pictures published by Twitter user. These new pictures show a prototype variant of the set card sitting next to what is a GeForce RTX 3080 Ti or RTX 3080 FE. It shows that the prototype is a very beefy unit that takes up at least quad slots worth of space and requires a single 16-pin connector to boot which means that its TDP will peak out at 600 watts and not 900 watts as earlier rumors had claimed. Another thing is that the PCB seems to be missing from this particular variant is the display outputs are empty. The only thing this unit has is the heatsink, shroud, backplate and wiring to the 16-pin connector. The connector won't be directly connected to the PCB like the rest of the RTX 40 series cards, but rather use a wired extender that runs through the heatsink and goes to the other side of the card. While the leaker asks if this might be the alleged Titan RTX graphics card, I personally doubt it since the card clearly has the GeForce RTX logo on it and Titan cards don't use that. Also, the faceplate clearly reads RTX 4090, so it could be possible that the original 4090 or either a prototype of the card was also using the same color before Nvidia went with a more conventional Founder Edition design. It is likely that a similar design was tested for both the 4090 Ti and Titan ADA, but there are reports that the Titan has been more or less cancelled. In its place, the RTX 4090 Ti is said to be offered featuring an AD102 GPU with 18,000 cores and 11% increase in cores over the RTX 4090, 96 megabytes of L2 cache which is a 33% increase over the RTX 4090 and 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. While the memory capacity still remains the same as the RTX 4090, the bandwidth will see a major boost. That's at least what is speculated, but given how much Nvidia changes specs and design during the planning phase, this plan might have been scrapped for something entirely different by now. MSI preps for Nvidia's GeForce RTX 4090 Ti with its 4.5 slot juggernaut of a cooling design. We might see a similar or modified version of this graphics card when Nvidia decides to launch the 4090 Ti, but for now we can only look at this monster and just imagine just how much of a ferocious beast it will in terms of gaming performance and especially pricing. Anyway guys, we will keep you updated. So, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.